One form, one click and a brand perfect newsletter campaign with a custom graphic is ready for your review. All done by the simple edit and workflow you can clone in minutes. Building newsletters the old way, you're digging through spreadsheets for product info, hunting for a decent visual and tweaking copy that never feels right. It's slow, messy and a total pain. This is how you fix that. What you're about to build is an AI newsletter architect powered by NNN and three principles. First, context engineering. So your AI agents get all of your product data and market intel automatically. Second, the creative core, where one master prompt turns a generic AI into your personal copywriter and art director. Third, and this is where you gain the real edge, an instant revision loop. This is where most automations fail at. It's a loop that lets your AI absorb feedback and fire back a perfect new draft on command. That's what turns a simple automation into your personal content factory. Stick around and I'll show you every node, every prompt and the simple tweak that makes the feedback loop bulletproof. Then we'll wrap it up by turning the form into a simple app on your phone so you can trigger campaigns while you're in line for coffee. Alright, I've told you what this engine can do. Now let me show you. I'm executing the workflow from this simple briefing form. For this demo, I'm choosing the Bose headphones as a product. Campaign angle is promotional. And for the brief, king of quiet, confident copy, product splashing into liquid chrome. I hit submit. And 60 seconds later, the same forum we started has now updated into our review deck. Right here, we have a direct link to the finished asset. Let's take a look. A complete Google Doc, fully formatted with on-brand copy and a custom visual with our product generated by GPT Image One. But what if you want to make any changes? This is where the system becomes a true co-pilot. The workflow is now waiting for my decision. I'll select no, I have some changes. And for the feedback, put a 50% discount in the title, make it more inspiring. For the visual, keep the crown splash, but make the liquid warmer like liquid gold to feel more premium. Submit. Right now, the AI isn't starting over, it's iterating. And here's version 2. The copy is updated and the visual is completely transformed, just like instructed. Now I hit yes, save it. The campaign is approved and archived. From a three line brief to a fully revised and approved campaign in minutes. That's the system we're going to build today. And to make this as easy as possible for you, I've packaged up everything, every prompt, every piece of JSON and the final edit and workflow file into my free AI builders library. You can literally import this entire workflow into your own edit and instance in about 15 seconds. The link is in the description below. All right, let's build this step by step. For this automation's trigger, we'll use a simple form, but stick with me because it's going to get much more dynamic later on. Under authentication, you can set up a password to add a layer of security to your form. Just create a credential with your name and password. Give your form a title and description, then a dropdown named Select Product. This is where you choose the hero of your campaign. For this demo, I set it up for a few Bose products. Second, another dropdown, campaign angle. This tells the AI how to write. Let's add promotional, educational, brand focused, and one more for a new launch. And I'll make both dropdowns a required field. Finally, a text field, creative brief. This is optional for any specific instructions. Now let's execute it. Fill out the form that pops up with some test data and submit it. Once the data comes in, select the trigger node and press P to pin it. This saves the data so you'll never have to fill it out again while building the rest of the workflow. Next, we need product intel. I'll add a Google Sheets node to connect to our product catalog. You'll need a sheet with at least these columns. Your product ID, product URL, product name, has to be the exact name that you configured in the form, 
and the product type, description, and features. The more detail you add, like benefits or target audience, the better your AI's output will be. The product ID is essential. It must be the file ID of your product's reference image in the Google Drive. To get it, just copy the share link of the image and paste it in, but delete everything except the long string of random characters in the middle. Now we'll configure the node to find the right product. Add a filter, put in the column's name of your product, and for the value, we'll grab the select product expression from our pinned form data. Execute it and you'll see it pulls the correct product info from your sheet. Now, this step is optional, but highly recommended. We're pulling this Google Docs get a document node in to give the AI real market intel. For this build, I'm using a voice of customer analysis which is incredibly powerful for getting the targeting and tone right. If you want to see how to automate the analysis itself, check out this video I've linked above. But this is where you can get really creative. Imagine making the system learn from its own performance to actively improve over time. For example, you could feed it a document with the data from your winning campaigns, the subject lines with the best open rates, and the CTAs that drove the most conversions. The more strategic intel you give the agent here, the more powerful its output will be. To add your extra context through a document, copy the link of your file, paste it here, and delete everything except the ID in the middle. Then hit execute. Next, let's add an edit fields node to package all of our intel into a single clean object for the AI. Change the mode to JSON and grab the exact JSON from the setup doc and paste it in, right here. Then execute the step. Now we'll add a merge node. We need it because later we'll be merging another input source for our feedback loop. Next we can add the core of our system, the AI agent. This is our creative engine. Its job is to generate the entire newsletter all the copy and a detailed prompt for the banner visual. For the user message, we need to pass it our entire data package. For that, we'll have to use this json.stringify expression. Then we can add the system prompt. I've built a master prompt for you in the setup doc. Grab it from there. It's designed to be adapted. To make it yours, feed it your website's URL and a few reference images and it will generate a custom system prompt with your brand's DNA that you can plug in right here. All right, now that you have your prompt, let's quickly go over two key sections inside so you know how to customize them later if you need to. First is the copywriting directive. This is the AI's guide for writing effective copy. It's structured to tell a clear story, moving the reader from an engaging hook through their problem, to your product as the solution. This is what keeps the writing focused and persuasive. Second, the image prompt directive. This is where we give the AI our rules for creating stunning visuals. I've added a few specific commands to get the best results. One rule is for the proximity. This tells the AI to always use extreme close-up terms, which keeps your product sharp detailed and the clear hero of your shot. Another one is action is mandatory. This pushes the AI to create dynamic scenes with energetic elements like water splashes or power explosions and to avoid boring static images. Finally, the contrast rule. This is a simple but powerful instruction. If your product is dark, the scene must have bright, high contrast elements to make it pop. Now let's enable require specific output format. Connect the structured output parser and grab this JSON from the setup docs. Next, connect your OpenAI chat model or any LLM of your choice, but I'll use GPT 4.1. Then connect a simple memory node. First, I have to go back to the merge node and execute it to get our data to the agent. 
For the session ID, drag in this session ID expression from the merge input on the left side right here. This is critical for our feedback loop later. That's it for the agent and we're more than halfway there. Let's execute the workflow. This will take a moment. Now let's review the output right away. Here you can check if the AI delivered what you wanted. If the copy isn't quite right, go back and adapt the system prompt. For the visual, you can copy the image prompt from the output, paste it into ChatGPT, upload your reference image and see if the results meet your expectations. If not, rework the image directive in your system prompt with more detail. And don't forget to pin the data. To execute what I've just shown you in ChatGPT, we first need to download our reference image from our Google Drive. Add a Google Drive download node and pull in the product ID expression from the agent's output. Hit execute step. Now here you should see your product. Next we need a node for the image generation. We're using a custom HTTP request to call OpenAI's GPT image one model. To make this setup as easy as possible for you, just grab this JSON from the setup doc and paste it into your workflow and wire it up. You'll just need to input your OpenAI API key right here. The prompt from the AI agent's output should already be defined. For the size, you can set it to these dimensions, but I chose horizontal for the newsletter visual. And keep the quality low for testing to save costs. Let's execute and pin the data after it's done. We get the image data back from this call, but we need to convert it into a file format that Google Drive can actually understand. This convert to file node does exactly that. Just drag in the base64 expression. Here the visual will always look horrendous since we set our quality to low for development. Just change it to high when you're setting the system live. Now we upload it with a Google Drive upload node. For the file name, we'll search for the AI agent's output and drag in the campaign title minus visual minus the date, formatted like this, with .png at the end. Choose the folder you want to store your newsletter visual. Execute the step. Now we'll create a blank Google Doc with this node. Choose a folder where you want to save your newsletter and title I'll use the expression from the campaign title minus newsletter minus with the date formatted to display the day, month, year, hour and minute just like before. Then let's execute the step. Next we add another custom HTTP node to format the document. Just copy this JSON from the setup doc and wire it up. The standard Google Docs node is too limited for what we're doing. This call lets us insert images and apply complex formatting at the same time. Let's execute it. Great, our call went through. Now we present the finished draft to the user for approval. First, add a next form page node. Change the element type to HTML. This is where the document link will be displayed to easily review the content. You can copy the HTML from the setup doc and paste it in. Next, we need to ask the user for their decision. Add a dropdown list element. Name it final approval and give it two options. Yes, save it and no, I have some changes. Make it a required field and add another element for the change request. I'll fill out the placeholder with please describe the changes you'd like. Let's execute this step to open the form. Here we have our review link. I'll start with configuring the save it route first. To route our flow, we'll add an if node that reads the user's choice. Drag in the final approval expression and set the condition to equal to yes save it. Then execute the step. If they approve, we'll drag in an append row in sheet node to save all the data. For that, you'll need to set up a Google Sheet to save your approved campaign. We need a sheet with these columns. 
connect that right here and map all the data from the agent's output. And for the image, we'll drag in the WebView link from the Google Drive upload node. Now, for the false path, this is our feedback loop. Drag in an edit fields node. And for the JSON, grab this in the setup docs and paste it in. This will package the user's feedback and loop it back to the merge node we set up earlier, starting the AI process again with new instructions. Now I'll show you quickly how to access this form easily on your phone. First, unpin all the data and set the workflow live. Then, click on your form trigger, grab the production URL and open it up on your phone. Click the three dots to open your settings, then search for add to your home screen. This will bookmark the form just like an app on your phone. And that's it. Building these systems is how you get the real advantage. So I'm launching a private community for serious builders and the founders list in the description is your only chance to get a lifetime 50% discount as a thank you for being here from the start. Go sign up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.